Locked up and they're off. A little bit of a stumble for November Fog. Going out in front is Lady Moonshine in the lead. And Lorena coming fast from the outside to take over. Up the inner is Strega. Il Malocchio on their outside is in fourth as they go into the turn. Pretty wide, swinging Mandy around the extreme outside. And looking for position as they settle is Lady Moonshine. And over on the inside is November Fog. Silent Causeway avoiding the early rush. And last of all is Golden Vision. Well, Swinging Mandy has swung to the front. Race from the outside to go clear by three. Lorena second, off the inside. Strega third, and three lengths away came Il Malocchio. And on the outside is now Talk To You Later. On the rails, Lady Moonshine. Two away, November Fog. Silent Causeway moving up. And three lengths away last, Golden Vision. So tear away tactics. And Swinging Mandy and Daisuke Fukumoto race out to a four-length gap. Moving up, sharing second, Strega and Lorena. Two and a half away, Lady Moonshine, Il Malocchio. Talk To You Later, one to November. November Fog, Silent Causeway's under wraps at the back, second last, and two and a half to Golden Vision. They started to come on to this leader now, swinging Mandy two and a half. Joining well is Strega. Il Malocchio goes to third. Talk to you later the outsider. Check to Lady Moonshine behind Lorena. Now Silent Causeway inching into the race well. And between runners, November Fox coming on. And last is Golden Vision. The new leader, Strega, narrowly took over from Swinging Mandy as they corner at their girth, Il Malocchio. And as they come down the stretch, here comes Il Malocchio in the La Prevoyant stakes to eat them up and has run to the front. Out wide, Silent Causeway's got four lengths to make up. And it's Il Malocchio with no dangers at the moment. Silent Causeway is way back in second. And this has been a back-to-back -back stakes win. El Malocchio in fine form wins the La Prevoyant four lengths. Silent Causeway second, Strega third, Golden Vision fourth. Then came talk to you later. The time, 144.86. to owner Frank O'Malley and to winning rider Sahin Savachi, who adds to his stakes tally at the meet. The four-year-old Bay filly, she's by Super Speedy from Egbert Bay. Frank O'Malley bred the winner, and she takes her tally to four wins from 20 lifetime starts. Il Malocchio, the winner of today's La Prévoyante. Well, the weather might be getting a little bit on the chilly side of things, but Il Malocchio is just getting better and better. And this guy to my right, Zine Savacci, is on a real roll. It's been a great season as well for conditioner Marty Drexler. And uh, actually, I should start off with that because Marty is one of the first guys that really used you on a consistent basis. And uh, you've had a breakthrough year. I'm sure you're very grateful to have had so many opportunities for that barn. Definitely. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank Marty here because he's been uh, my biggest support since day one and he's been putting me on really nice horses, so I'm very appreciative of that. Thank you. There seemed to be a lot of trouble in behind you. What was your trip like from your perspective? Honestly, on the first turn, I just had a little bump there, but uh, nothing serious, and uh, overall, my uh, trip was really nice. Everything went smoothly, and she has a nice kick down the lane. You know, she seems to be really thriving at this point. Could you tell early on that you had a lot of horse? Yeah, I mean, look, uh, just like Marty said, I guess she likes the uh, cold, and uh, she was feeling good post parade, so I was pretty confident. Well, let's you go warm up. I don't know if it ever gets as cold in Turkey or not, my friend, but uh... Uh, some areas, <laughs> some areas. Yeah. Uh, I would also like to thank thank my agent. Uh, he's been doing a phenomenal job with uh, this year, and uh, yeah, without him, I wouldn't be standing here today. Uh, also, everybody else, I would like to thank uh, all the trainers and owners that gave me support this year. Thank you. What about your favorite on air host? Do you want to thank me as well? Oh, Jeff, of yeah, course. Thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Marty, I don't know how you stop on her, but at the same time, she seems to be really thriving in this cold temperature. So what is the game plan with her right now? I will take her south. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just, um, she's going to get a little break now. She's going to get a little break, and then uh, we'll figure out next year. She ran so big in the Maple Leaf. Did you have any concerns with the cutback in distance? I know she's run well to amount of 16th in the past, but the Maple Leaf was the best race she ever ran prior to today, maybe. But um, did you have any concerns at all with the, the turn back in distance at all? A little bit, but, I mean, she's, she was doing well, and I think this is just a little bit easier company, maybe. So I, I, we, I liked her a lot today, I, a lot. She was really calm and, and, and just cool and collected and really went into this nice. 
Now, the owner isn't even here. He's working right now, working on some pizza. So, Frank, congratulations goes out to you. And, uh, Marty, you've had a terrific year. Congrats. Uh, thanks so much. Okay, there you go. Marty Trexler. It is Il Malocchio in today's La Provence Steaks. One more steak race to come tomorrow. $1,774.95.